sure. Um, I, I'll tell you that what I did though, I did it before COVID. Um, the, I, probably eight years ago, maybe I don't, I've lost track, but a, a while, you know, we, Brett and I have had a coach for, you know, almost the entire existence of our big time grain company. And that has continued to walk us through mindset activities and books to read and just coaching and just, we meet with them every week, you know? And so, so the work, all that work that, that he and I did when COVID hit, we didn't look at it as, as a, this is, this is disrupting our entire life thing. We looked at it as, Hey, it is what it is. Let's make the best of it. Um, and what can we apply our time to right now that we have time that we didn't have time for before? So, you know, we, one of the things I did was I, I started a, a weekly music mastermind group that I meet every week with. And I started with one guy um, and I just started meeting with him on Zoom every week. And then it started growing. And I think we we're up to probably, I don't know, 10 to 12, maybe 15 members. You know, they don't all show up every week, but once a week we're, we're meeting for 30 minutes every day on Zoom that, and just going over as artists, what, what do we got to do, you know, to, to build our careers. And so a lot of our discussions previous to things opening up, well, what can we do to prepare? We're going to come out of this. There's going to be, you know, I've never looked at this other than there is going to be an explosion of entertainment as soon as we come out of this. I never thought of it any different. Um, so knowing that, how is this going to, how do we prepare for that? When knowing that it's coming. And so like these artists I'm working with, the, the very first guy that started was a guy named Nick Day, who's this does solo art uh, and does some, some duo projects as well. And we just, he just started applying some basic principles. He's always been <clears throat> extremely talented, cr incredible singer, great songwriter, great musician. That's never been the issue with him. It was all the other things, you know, First of all, was the mindset of, you know, there you can make good money doing what you love if you believe that you can. And then, you know, then we would get into things that he could do with his marketing and how he packaged things and how he communicated with buyers. And, I mean, just everything involved in building one of these careers. And so, so weekly, we just, we're talking every week, you know, but Brett and I created a course as well, where musicians can purchase a course to if they want to speed up that whole process and go through it fast, you know, um, and then I started consulting musicians, um, you know, doing, doing weekly hourly consulting as well, just all about this subject you're talking about. Um, but it, it starts with your belief system, you know, what you believe about what you believe to be true, what you believe not to be true. And a lot of times those are, those are created <clears throat> through experiences we've had in life. Maybe, you know, maybe, I mean, they start out with things we get as our childhood, you know, maybe our parents or somebody else said something that just never left us, you know, and, you know, so we have to dig into those things and say, okay, what is, is that even true? And if it's not true, then let's, let's start correcting that. Let's fix that first, you know? Um, and then once that's done, then it's just, it's just putting in the work of saying my music career is up to me. This is a business. How do I build my business?